Here are some do's and don'ts for your part-time resume. When you apply to part-time jobs in restaurants, retail, general labor, and customer service, a simple one-page resume is typically all you need. The sections you can include are contact information, an objective statement explaining that you're looking for part-time work, a highlight section that lists only the relevant skills and knowledge for the job you're applying for, a work experience section showing work that you've done in the past, and an education section listing your recent and current institutions and the topics of study. All work and education should be listed in reverse chronological order, with the most recent first. Optionally, you can also include a training and certification section, a volunteer experience section, and a section detailing your hours of availability for each day of the week. Don't make the mistake of putting a fake job on your resume. If you list false information, and if it's later discovered, it could get you fired. Instead of entering false information, do the following. If you've never worked before, write examples from your education or other experiences in your highlights section. For example, you could describe communication, creativity, and teamwork demonstrated through the group work and class interactions at school. You can also gain experience through volunteering at the college or in the local community. This is a great way to get references, which is often required when applying for paid work. If you have worked before, but only in jobs that are not directly relevant, you can remove the technical skills that aren't going to be used, for example, computer programming, and just discuss the skills that you'll actually use, such as adaptability, teamwork, or communication. If you stick to the truth, keep your real experience on your resume, and in the descriptions only write about the transferable skill, you'll be on the right track to getting hired. Good luck in your job search.